Today's storm knocked down a massive tree on the Upper East Side, crushing parked cars. CBS 2's Derek Waller has a look at the damage in the city and in Westchester County. And tonight we're on Fifth Avenue right at East 93rd Street and look at this massive tree that came up in today's storm. It crushed this Volvo, but then take a look across the street. It also got those two other parked cars as well. That cold, gusty wind is what we're left with tonight after that hours long deluge. Tonight, Fifth Avenue shut down in East 93rd after that giant tree took out these cars. The owner of that red Volvo talking to police tonight as neighbors looked on in disbelief. I've heard and seen trees falling in the park, but not, not like this. I mean, that is one gigantic tree. In the Bronx, a section of the Mosheloo Parkway swallowed up this SUV. Drivers stuck after their vehicles stalled. And on the Bronx River Parkway in Westchester, standing water brought traffic to a crawl. Heavy rain also overwhelmed sewers and sent several inches of water into the Renaissance, a workforce housing development still under construction in New Rochelle. Water soaked the entire first floor, including the community room and several apartments. And in nearby Pelham Manor, fire and utility crews were called to this home for reports of a gas leak, only to issue an evacuation order after they found a basement wall partially collapsed. But the fire chief says the situation could have been worse. Everybody's concern is, uh, is water, so, you know, that's what we do. Well, we usually see some localized street flooding. Uh, some houses do receive water, nothing crazy, uh, but today was, was thankfully with the amount of rain we got, it was not bad at all. And that is some good perspective because back here on Fifth Avenue, you see all this damage that was caused by that tree, but the good news, nobody lost their lives. Everyone is okay. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Derek Waller, CBS 2 News.